Almost every time I watch muskrats and get video, there's only one muskrat. Um, last year, I think I got two muskrats on, on one occasion. And this, this day at Ridgeside Lake, there were two muskrats around. And I watched a lot of interaction. Occasionally, you'll just see one. But I tried to, in the half hour I was watching, I've edited out almost all of the times where they're not interacting and focused almost always on when the two of them are together. You know, muskrats eat, and um, you're going to see some more of that plant at the end. I also had a great blue heron fly in while I was watching the muskrat, and it landed on um, in a tree. So I occasionally got pictures of the great blue heron thrown in just a couple of times, and you know, but mostly there's just these muskrats and they are eating and they also seem to be playing. And what you also notice is that one is much bigger than the other. I don't know if it's male, female. I don't know if it's adult and juvenile. Um, I do not know at all. But uh, clearly there are two muskrats and one is much bigger than the other. And they are interacting as if they know each other quite well. Occasionally they do something funny and, you know, they go back to eating and then they interact some more. And so this is what you've got, is you've got a series of pictures of muskrats interacting with an occasional um, glimpse of something else. I walked by this spot today and you could definitely see where the muskrats have been pulling out vegetation. vegetation the muskrat is swimming with is some of the same stuff that they've been eating in some of the pictures. But it did, I guess, finally decided it was time to go home and grab one more piece of vegetation and swims all the way across the pond and I lose it just as it gets to the den. Once the muskrat went in the den, I took one more glimpse over at the great blue heron and then called it a day. <laughs>